Hey, welcome back to the show. Today we're gonna to talk about Mr. Beast, Graham Steven, and a bunch of other YouTube creators have put together their money and want to invest into young startup YouTube channels. They wanna write checks anywhere from 25 million to $250,000 for young YouTube creators to help them grow. And so we're today, we're gonna to dive through Mr. Beast's fund and go through all the interworkings and how it all works and how potentially maybe your channel could get picked up and funded by this team. And I actually really think this is a cool thing. We did a, a video previously on Jake Paul and Logan Paul putting together a similar type of fund, not for YouTube creators, but for small venture capital investing and this new age of influencer funds. We've seen this with A-Rod's got a fund. We had Kobe Bryant had a fund back bef you know, before he passed away. Rip Kobe, I love Kobe. And so we've seen a lot of these different creators and different influencers, different celebrities launch their very own funds. And this is no exception. So today we're gonna dive into that. All right, so hopefully by this point, you know who Mr. Beast is, has just about 62 million subscribers on his one YouTube channel. It actually runs, uh, I don't know, a couple, it feels like a dozen different channels. He has, he has Mr. Beast Gaming, Mr. Beast Philanthropy, and all sorts of channels, but his main channel, almost 62 million subs, one of the biggest YouTubers on the planet, really only started about 18 months ago as an incredible story. And he does these crazy videos. I mean, he spent 50 hours buried alive. He got hunted by a real bounty hunter. Look at his 42 million views in two weeks. Uh, $100,000 game of tag, 39 million views. Snakes for $10,000. I mean, he's just got these wild, crazy videos. You can see some of his other channels down here. Mr. Beast Gaming, 18 million subs. Philanthropy, Shorts, Beast Reactions, Mr. Beast 2. I don't know why he needs a second channel, but Mr. Beast 2, he launched it just because. Why not? People, there's other videos online saying he his channel makes him about $100 million a year off of what he does in all of his businesses and channels, which is absolutely insane to, to think of that YouTubers can go out and do this. It's just wild, right? So for today's episode though, we're gonna dive in. Actually, Mr. Beast a little bit ago came out and said this. He actually asked, and right here, it's on their website. I wish there was a way to invest in social media influencers. I don't know anything about the stock market and I find it kind of boring. And uh, these guys, Creative Juice, got together with, with uh, Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast, and they are putting together the Creative Juice Fund. You can see it right here. This is actually their website and we're gonna dive through all this here. So I actually went to Liberty. I tried to dig as much as I could and get out about what they are doing. Now, in general, their thesis of their fund is they're gonna put money together and you can see actually on their website here, they've pulled together. You've got Mr. Beast, obviously, but look at some of these people they've pulled in below. You got Preston Arsment, and this is Jimmy Donaldson, Shelby Church, Graham St uh, Stephen, or Stephen, I don't know how to say his last name, but Graham, awesome guy in our space, has a lot of finance videos. And then Carter Scherer, okay? I, I don't know who that is, but seems like a cool dude. Probably has a big Instagram or <laughs> YouTube following. I don't know who these people are. I know a couple, of, I'm not that big on YouTube. I didn't know who Mr. Beast was actually until, I don't know, six months ago. I'm just, maybe I'm behind the, the world. I, I don't know, maybe I'm behind the curve, but, now I know who he is. He's actually killing it. But I do know Graham Steven and, and other people on here. So they partnered together. At least they have, uh, is that five people on here? Five, and the, all these creators have over, you know, a couple million subs on YouTube. And their thesis is, you can see on here, they want to find great creators and fund these creators, take equity positions, and essentially invest into influencers. It's, and it was, it's a pretty interesting concept. We saw this with Jake Paul's fund. We talked about this a little bit ago. It's not a bad thesis. You have 40, whatever it is, 41 million subs on your channel and you're gonna back another creator and you're gonna promote them through your channels and distribution and back them up and you're hoping that company or that channel is gonna grow. Well, obviously it's gonna grow. If you have five creators like that below that have multi-million sub accounts that can just send traffic it's not that bad of a thesis, actually. I see you saw this with Jake Paul. I mean, Jake Paul, love him or hate him, but if he picked a brand or a topic that he wanted to promote, his following most likely will go use and at least give awareness to that brand. It's a it's like a marketing boost, all like a little magic genie bottle that just bam, you throw it in and, and a creator can take off if they get back. So it's almost like, it's a really cool thesis actually. I really like it. It's, it's, you see it with the Shark Tank effect, right? People that go on Shark Tank, 
they get seen by millions of people around the world and that in in turn helps the company scale, right? It's it's the marketing behind the companies they're investing in. There's this whole new age of these celebrity funds. So this is no different, right? They're gonna invest in creators, take a small equity piece, like a venture capital uh, type of play. And hopefully over time, we're gonna monetize that and grow with these creators. I'm, and I don't know, maybe the long-term play with Creative Juice here on their website, maybe the long-term play is they're gonna make a conglomerate of creators and do collabs together and have almost like, the, what did they have like TikTok house? You guys have seen that, right? They have like a TikTok house thing and they have all these TikTokers that work together. And anyways, just the world we live in today. There's a lot of ways to make money in this world. I'll tell you what, um, Jeremy Powell, thank you as again for helping all that. So anyways, back to back to Creative Juice. So on their website, I did a little dig in, tried to get as much as I could. Um, you saw before on the Jake Paul video, we went through and actually read through their LP and PPM, their legal docs, all that kind of stuff and picked it apart as much as we could to see all the entities. Um, on here, you see their website, very simple website. Um, they have pledged to do this. They want to back creators. So you can see, hey, be the first to learn more. So I went through this process. They have a little job form. It pops up. You can put, put in, you see your email, put in your name. And I did all that, got an email. Here's the email. Notification from Typeform, right? Nice little Typeform <laughs> notification here. We're working hard to get your financial network. You need to grow your business. We'll soon accept applications for the Juice Fund, enabling creators like you to get creators like Mr. Beast to invest in your business and help you grow. Stay tuned for more information on Juice Funds and our exciting news of the launch of our beta product. Our team is pumped to work with you. It sounds like these guys are following the fund launch formula to a T. They probably have seen our videos. I bet they're in our, our programs. I, Mr. B, I'm, I bet he's in our program. I probably should go check. Um, <laughs> but no, this is a great way to actually launch a fund. Pre-announce it. Say, this is what we're doing. Get people interested. Test out your potential creators you're going to invest into. See how much interest you get. And it seems like right now they're they're scrambling to put together legal docs and, and all of a sudden this is it. I mean, I dug online for everything I could find and, and get access to. They really have nothing set up right now. They have about nothing. Now, Mr. Beast has pledged $2 million that he's gonna pledge into these small creators. They're gonna write check sizes again, 25 million to maybe $250,000 per pledge. So, I mean, they're gonna make, I don't know, 20, maybe 30 different investments, maybe 15 investments on this first little round, see how it goes. Uh, maybe they're launching a fund, maybe not. Maybe it's just his personal money. It sounds like I would guess those other creators are also gonna put money in together. There, it sounds like they're following the fun launch formula. The fun launch formula, step one, find incredible deals is what he's doing right now. Step two, he's probably framing it out, putting it together. Step three, pitching investors and getting money together. And step four, doing the legal docs. That's the fun launch formula. So Mr. Beast, um, I'll take credit for it. Thank you so much. And you're, you're welcome uh, for the formula as well. But uh, this is something, again, that we've seen a lot of these celebrity type of funds doing this. Um, now, typically what I also will see they haven't announced this yet. Typically, they will partner with a very strong financial backed person. Someone that's really good with finances and can actually run the fund in the background. Maybe it's Graham Steven. Okay, maybe it's him. Maybe it's me. I actually put my name in. Mr. Beast, if you're watching this video, I'd love to work with you. We'll launch the Creative Juice Fund together. I can put it all together. I got contacts. We can get the legal docs done. Don't even worry about it. It'll be easy peasy. We'll do in investor statements. We'll have quarterly returns, an annual audit. We'll have the whole thing. Don't even worry about it. Um, so a little plug for Mr. Beast if he's watching this video. But that's what we see typically is they find a person with a very strong finance background. They couple together. And then those two, one's kind of the Jake Paul did this. Jake Paul's the face and he has a, uh, I think it's, his last name's Wu. Can't remember his first name. Um, awesome guy, went to Stanford, great finance background, partnered together to be the back end support of the, kind of the the fun marketing person. And then also the backbone of like, hey, this is uh, this is what actually is going on. I'm the, I'm the finance person to, to help button things up. Now, the bigger question is if you're a content creator and you want to potentially take money from them, hey, we have a small channel on YouTube. Again, if you guys like our channel, subscribe, like the button below, whatever the YouTube algorithm tells us to do, whatever it is, you guys follow it. You guys know <laughs> we do on here. We're just trying to put out good content. But let's say Mr. Beast contacted me or our channel or your channel or whatever channel and said, hey, we want to give you $25,000 or $50,000 or $100,000 to help you scale your growth on YouTube. Now, if I was presented with this situation, uh, first off, I'd say, Mr. Beast, I don't want to take the money. I want to be your partner and help run the fund. But let's just say I, I, I don't, I, you know, he already has somebody else doesn't want to work with me. He wants to grow our channel. 
It's an interesting question. Number one, at least for our channel, we don't need the money. I run great funds. We have other plenty of income coming in. I don't need 50 grand of seed money to help us grow. Now, some creators might need that. They're starving. They're, they need money because they're playing video games and COD and they want to grow, whatever it is. Hopefully, they already have revenue streams at that point. I'm guessing the money isn't that enticing though. For me, the money, a quarter million dollars, great. Like it's not that enticing for a seed round. What is enticing is the partnerships, is the relationships you now have with five or six of the biggest YouTubers out there that can help collab and promote your channel, give you mentorship, coaching. That's what I would be interested in. And I would, I would ask them that, is this something, are we gonna do a monthly call where we can hop on together? You guys can, we can collab, we can help, we can promote each other. You're gonna help our channel grow through your promotions. If that's the case, I, I don't know. I think uh, I might be very interested to give out a piece of my company to Mr. Beast, Graham Stephen, all those guys for those relationships and partnerships going forward. And a guy like Mr. Beast has such a broad audience. It, it would work whether you're, you know, streaming video games, you're doing financial things like we do, you're doing a beauty, you know, women's beauty review supply, whatever it is. And uh, it might be a pretty good fit regardless of where you're coming from. It looks like they have back on their website here, a pretty diverse group of creators right here that can help. Again, I don't know who Carter Sharer is. I don't really know who Shelby is. I mean, I really don't know who these people are, but I'm guessing they're <laughs> they're on a broad spectrum. Just looking at their profile pictures, they just seem like they come from different backgrounds here. Um, you know, you got Graham all dressed up. You got Mr. Beast. So we obviously know him. I'm guessing Shelby Church. I'm not sure what she does. Preston, they just, they just look like they're from different classes here, but they could help your account grow very quickly. So I would be interested. I would actually be very interested in, in our channel if, if they wanted to partner up with me. I'm like, dang straight. I'm not saying no to a partnership with these five individuals. You need now. It depends on how much money they're going to take and and how much equity they're going to take in my business and things like that. And would it just be the channel or would they want the entire business? That'd be a totally different conversation. But pretty interesting thing that's going on on YouTube right now. If you guys have any feedback or things that you've learned besides this, including this video, drop it in the comments below. You guys, as you guys know, we give away a hundred dollars a month to new subscribers. We'll pick the best comments on our video and we, and we actually give away a hundred dollars to those people. So click on the comments below. We'll find somebody and give away a hundred dollars on this video. Um, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Mr. Beast, if you're watching this video, hit me up. Uh, I'd love to, love to hang out. I already submitted a form. So we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> be pretty fun. But doing influencer backed funds is one of the most interesting new things that we've seen in the 21st century. And they've actually turned out to be very successful on the finding deal flow and finding investor point of view. Now, can they perform? Are they actually going to invest? Well, I don't know. That's up to the fund managers. But, but the fact is they find the deals and they find the money very easily when they do this. Again, if you guys like these types of videos, uh, we have more on our channel. We talk about funds, setting up funds, creating them, putting together, how to raise money, all that kind of stuff. Uh, my name is Bridger Pennington. Great being with you guys today. And I'll see you next episode. Bye. So I'd appreciate it if you subscribe because like that helped boost my self-esteem, you know. Will it help boost your bank account? No.